Welcome to Throwback Thursday and this is for the new subscribers. Let me tell you guys what Throwback Thursday is all about. That is when we re-upload the old videos from before and usually I pick the ones that have less views letting me know that my, a lot of my subscribers didn't get a chance to watch the video meaning they didn't get notified or they missed the notification or simply they just didn't notice and they missed the chance to watch the videos but now you get one more track and for those people that already watched it well maybe you'll see something that you didn't see it on the first time and this video is from last year's 4th of July that we're actually celebrating today and in that note I would like to wish everyone a very happy 4th of July Independence Day and for that we get to enjoy the freedom we have now whoa let's go to the video and yep I still got the backflip also it was our first time taking out the island hopper and the hydrosport at the same time giving the kids freedom to do whatever they wanted and they actually went fishing but after they came back we headed over to Alower Sandbar to make lunch and we actually had all kinds of choices we had pork chicken sausage and jumbo hot dogs and all this was provided by the master chef Umberto from Soriano restaurant in Homestead so while some of us enjoy the food others enjoy the sun and the water on the Aquabana system And as the day continued, more of our boating buddies showed up at the sandbar, bringing more fun to the day while we wait for the 4th of July fireworks at night. And we're right where we left off. And just in case you didn't see part one, well, it's gonna be easy to find because I'm gonna leave a link on this video description below and you can click on it and it'll take you right to it. And this is what sandbar life is all about. A whole bunch of good people having a good time at the sandbar. And talking about a good time, don't forget, we'll be back July 29th for some fun in the sun at the sandbar. Alright, so here's the part of the video that it gets interesting, especially for me with the editing department, because the girls decided to jump on the party banner and take some pictures. But you know how YouTube is, you gotta be careful. So to avoid any problems, what I'm gonna do is speed up the video so you guys can get the idea. But now it's gonna get even more crazier because they wanna see how many people could actually be on the party banner. And we're gonna really take it to the test. And this gives me an idea. If you have a product, and you want to test its durability just let me hold it for the weekend and we'll take it for a test like we're doing right now we're testing the party man out one more time but this time we're gonna test how much beauty can hold and this is the part that i say yeah my job is pretty hard sometimes yeah okay ready oh, it's too dark one two three Otra más. Okay, so enough with the picture taking and uh, product testing. We're gonna get back in the water and enjoy the rest of the late afternoon and it's getting closer and closer to the fireworks. Yeah.
Daniela, you can see everyone's having a great time at the sand bar waiting for the fireworks. But all those waiting around and dancing around got me uh, hungry. So right now, what is the best time? Yeah, baby, such is time. Just like us, there's plenty of other boaters waiting around for the fireworks show. Most boaters are waiting around by choice, but a few are kind of stuck and they have to wait anyway. But not us, we are waiting by choice. And look at the beautiful sunset we're getting before the show. And like you notice, some of my boating friends have left because they have a long cruise back home. Remember, they came out of Bayfront Marina. But before they left, they helped me pick up the Aquabanas. So now we're just gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy the beautiful sunset before the fireworks. But something else that we are gonna enjoy is the warm late afternoon water. Also, I don't think there's another better place than to spend the 4th of July. And I wanna give a big thank you to everybody that's been following us for years and celebrating many different holidays with us. And today has been pretty amazing. If you remember from part one, we came in the night before around 11.30, almost before midnight. And probably by the time we finish watching the fireworks, it's gonna be around the same time. So you can literally say we spent 24 hours at the sandbar. And now it's time to watch the fireworks to celebrate the 4th of July.
And it was kind of hard trying to record the fireworks. First of all, because the cameras are not that good at night. And also, they were throwing fireworks at three different locations. And I started recording kind of late because I was enjoying it. And I caught almost the very end. The actual fireworks lasted about 15 minutes. That is pretty long. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed your 4th of July. And I hope also you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll catch you guys out in the water. And let's keep having fun in the sun.